Brothers and sisters, our collection this morning is for New Life Women's Home, and we we pray that you would pr you would consider God's will in uh, how God is leading you to give to this uh, wonderful and very important cause. Uh, New Life uh, Women's Home gives uh, gives a safe place for women who uh, need to get away from whatever situation they are living in uh, because it is dangerous in some way for them and or for their children. It is, uh, yeah, this pandemic has shown us even more how critical ministries like this are. And so we pray that you will give generously to this cause. We also want to update you on a couple of pastoral care situations. Uh, first of all, I want to let you know that Charlotte is home, and we are very glad for that. Um, you can uh, certainly continue to pray for her. She has, uh, she has been getting some treatments, and they have been helping her quite a bit. Uh, but she has uh, a long road to hoe, as we say. And so uh, please continue to pray for Charlotte and for her family as well. Also want to let you know uh, as well a little bit of an update on Sue. Uh, Sue is, uh, is doing a little bit better. She continues to recover, and uh, but she is also still having some struggles with, uh, with her mobility, and there is still treatment ahead of her, uh, including perhaps uh, some, yeah, including having chemo, um, and uh, yeah, just pray for her and for Jake and for the whole family there. Let us come to God in prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you so very much this day for all that you have done for us. Lord, we thank you for uh, organizations like New Life Women's Home. We pray that you will guide them and keep them, that you will enable them to continue to offer shelter and a safe place and transition for those women and and children who, who need a place to get away and be safe, O oh God. Help us to help them to continue that ministry, O oh God. Please enable us to give generously to that cause. Lord, we pray as well that you will continue to be with Charlotte in her ongoing health concerns. Lord, we pray that you will strengthen her and guide her, guide the doctors and nurses as they continue to uh, work and heal her. Lord, we pray that you will continue to strengthen uh, Chris and Heather and Ben and Aaron and Adele as well, oh God. Please uh, strengthen them as well as they journey together. Father, we pray as well that you will continue to be with Sue. We thank you so much for the progress that she has made through the care that she has provided and through her hard work. Lord, we pray that you will guide her as she continues her journey and that you will also strengthen Jake and the rest of the family as well, oh God. Father, we, we also lay before you all of those in our congregation who are struggling in whatever form that may come. Oh God, would you please bless them and strengthen them through your spirit. Father, we thank you for news this week that Jeanette uh, and her physiotherapy are continuing and doing very well. We praise God for that. We thank you also, O oh God, for the opportunity to come together in worship, at least some of us uh, next Sunday. Lord, we pray that you will bless our gathering together, that you will bless the many congregations throughout this uh, country that are getting back together. O oh Lord, would you guide us in that? And Lord, would you please be with this world, O oh God? Lord, please also guide us as we come to you in the scriptures for this message. Would you open up our hearts and minds? Would the words of my mouth be pleasing in your sight? 
We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Just a note, uh, too. Uh, thank you for your prayers uh, for me. Uh, I know that that has been an encouragement and a help to me. Um, I still have uh, a distance to go, just as all of us do. Uh, so please continue uh, to keep me and others in your prayers as well, as I know you do.